like I've ever experienced Good morning, morning guys! It's our second weekend in Playa del Carmen. We woke up super early this morning, drove south to our very first cenote and it's called? Cenote Azul! And it actually costs just 120 pesos per person. It includes free parking, there's a bathroom, showers, also two restaurants here I believe. Well one is a restaurant, one is a shop and um, beautiful cenotes. <laughs> Guys, I've seen the cenotes on Instagram, I've seen them on YouTube, I've just seen them in documentaries and they are absolutely yeah. breathtaking. I can't wait to go in and actually check it out. Supposedly on a good day, which is not today, the sun rays shines through the water and you have these streams of sunlight coming through it as you dive. Uh, it's, listen, yeah, it's I can't a little overcast today, but I'm pretty sure it's, so far it's clearing up. It stopped raining a bit, so hopefully it holds off for us. Yeah, it was such a downer coming here because we didn't know, should we just continue? It's such a crappy day, but it's actually clearing up a little bit. So, and we beat most of the crowd here. It's only a few people here. You know, we love that. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> So already, first impressions, I'm blown away. It is so pretty. It's like you're surrounded by a jungle. It's yeah. just, I and love all the trees and the birds. You can hear them chirping. Yep, as soon as we came down, like, there was like a big herring fishing and the rocks. You know what's going on here is that the divers that we saw when we first came in, they're actually scrubbing the rocks clean so they're not mm -hmm. slippery. And they also give that color. Some are white, some are blue, depending on where the sun is right, right. um it's beautiful in here it's just like it a little is gorgeous yeah it's so quiet too well for now i'm sure it gets crazy later that's how so. we're gonna enjoy it now <laughs> i'm a little hesitant to get in because uh, it's not so warm out i'm afraid right. of what is gonna be cold <laughs> we'll find out soon all right but either way we're out. going in mm, yes How is it? It's cold! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm coming in. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cold, pretty cool. <laughs> but within minutes, you get used to the water, and it's it just feels so good. Because you're exerting all that energy treading water, so of course you're gonna get hot. <laughs> you FYI, see it. don't work out before you come. <laughs> it's such you're a struggle. You're gonna get the work, the only work out here. <laughs> it's such a struggle for her just to stay afloat. It's crazy. Just watch her. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> yeah. You know, now I'm going to try some snorkeling. From what I understand, you can actually rent snorkel gear here along with a life jacket if you need to. Yes, I believe that the life jacket is 70 pesos and actually it's reverse. The snorkel gear is 70 pesos ah. and the life jacket is 40 pesos. All right, so we're going to try that out. All right, let's go snorkeling. All right, 
Alright, so we're done swimming and we decided to just walk around because there are little paths that lead everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful in here. It is because along the path there are different cenotes. Some big, some small, mm -hmm. some you can actually jump into. Yep. Some you can sit on a rock and just hang out and let the fish give you a pedicure and have oh. a chat. <laughs> yeah, they all seem to love my feet. I know. I, don't know. I think it's time for a pedi, you. I think I need something done. I don't lotion up enough apparently. We're on our way out. We just passed the shop. They have some snacks, two rentals again, like snuggle gear, life vest, uh, and everything else pretty much that you need as yeah. far as you know, knickknacks. And look around, guys, it's all sunny right now. <laughs> I know. However, we checked the weather app, and another half an hour to an hour, Stop uh, it. it's gonna get crappy. <laughs> Hopefully, not. We're on our way to the beach now, so. Let's go enjoy that. It's yeah. beautiful being here. I'm so happy we visited. And I know we're gonna visit many more cenotes while we're here in Mexico. Yeah, definitely worth the trip. Don't forget your water shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. All right. Been here in Playa de Carmen. I know this is actually the second time we've been on the beach in two weeks. Yes, which, yes. Shame on us, shame on us. <laughs> it's a little overcasted still. Yep. And um, we kind of like it this way because we are always running from the sun, and that's why we opted to have an umbrella and a chair to hide from the sun. It cost us 250 pesos. Because there's an entrance fee of 70 pesos per person to actually get access to the beach. Right. All the beach, all the beaches are public to um, everyone here in Mexico, the locals. But for some reason, you have to pay to this one. Yeah, I guess once the hotels buy the properties out here, you have to pay to walk through their property to get to the beach. So that's a good point. It is. That's that's really what's going on. Yeah. So we're gonna order some lunch because we are hungry. We had so much fun at the cenotes. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's beach time. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat, enjoy the water, and enjoy this beautiful breeze and the view of the ocean. Starving, guys. <laughs> So yeah, this is how you know how well you take care of your feet. My feet obviously need some TLC. Your the feet fish, are not that bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like they are because they don't want my feet. <laughs> they're all around my feet, like nibbling. Gladys, not one fish around her feet right now. I just had a petty not so long ago. That's probably why. <laughs> I gotta get more petty. Petty needs help. <laughs> It's a mob squad down there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, babe, look like no like no, no fish. one. Not one fish around her feet. I feel neglected. Hey guys, did you know that we spent six weeks in Aruba? During our time there, we pretty much covered everything there is to do. From the must do's and the hidden gems like Tres Tapis, it's the smallest beach in the world. If you are planning your visit there, check out our playlist above before you do. And check out last week's video of Playa de Carmen, where we talk about tips, food, scams, the awesome nightlife, and most importantly, I almost forgot the beaches. See why this place is such a popular tourist destination. If you haven't liked this video yet, please do so and share it with at least one of your friends. Greatly appreciate it and we'll see you next week. Bye.